Hi guys, welcome to a quick installation video for the Pixelmon mod. Now a lot of you guys have been asking us to do it and we said we'd wait till it was updated and it has been updated now so we're ready to go for uh, Minecraft 1.5.2 and this is just how to get the Pixelmon mod working for it. Well this is how we get, we, we get it working so hopefully it'll work for you. Now if you click the first link in the description there it'll take you to the Pixelmon mod website into the download section. You can see here the newest release downloads and um, as you can see it does not work with Optifine so if you are going to go ahead with this do not put Optifine in it yet and um, eventually they may fix that but for now then um, it doesn't work with that okay you can see all the changes that were made I won't go through that now and um, this is kind of just showing you how to get it working so there's bugs all the new Pokemon so guys if you want to have a look over that yourselves you can have a look um, also consider donating to Pixelmon guys, they put a huge 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 amount of work in um, for us to enjoy this mod so if you do want to help out that's a great way of doing it. But anyway back onto this now so you'll see here Pixelmon 2.2.1 install so first link we're going to click is link 1 there. This will bring us to the AdFly page so you have to wait 5 seconds up here ignore everything that's down here everything that's down here don't click any of these here just up the skip ad on top right that's the only part you want to be looking at so we skip that and it will bring us to this media fire page and then you see this big green download button that's the one we're going to be using because there's a lot of other ones that are just ads so we don't want to click them so we click that and that will download the mod for us so we'll jump back in as soon as that's ready right guys so when that's fully downloaded there as you can see I have it here on my desktop we'll just put that to the side for a second what we're going to do is go back to that first link again to bring you right back to this downloads page. So the same page you were on before. We're going to scroll down and you'll see the Minecraft Forge here. So this is the version of Minecraft Forge that we will need to get Pixelmon up and running. So what we're going to do is click AdFly again there. Again, wait for the top right hand side. Don't click anything underneath because that's just all ad stuff. So um, we'll skip that ad. So you have to wait f 5 seconds each time and then it will start downloading for you. So again we'll get this downloaded and we'll jump back in as soon as it is. Right guys so here we have the two of them downloaded. We have them kept them nice and separate out on our desktop there so we know what we're going for. And uh, Next step is to go down to your big start button down the bottom left hand screen. We're going to type in run. Going to go up to that. And in this folder then or in this part you'll see open percent app data percent. So that's what you want to type in there. Make sure it's exactly like that. And we press OK. So this will bring you to a roaming folder and if you've played Minecraft already you'll have one of these .minecraft folders. Now we want to set up a new one so this is my dinosaur let's play so this is just the way we do it. There's other ways there's multi MC stuff like that that you can use different ones but all I like to do is I like to just move it in there and that's where I know I have my dinosaur let's play. So you want to have no .minecraft here that's fine. So what we're going to do is click on um, the Minecraft shortcut there on the desktop and that will get it up and running for us. Okay from here we're literally just going to put in our usual, usual details, your username, your password to get it up and running there guys and we're going to log on. So it'll let Minecraft build everything it needs, download all the packages. So once that's ready then we'll move on to the next stage. Oh, I just had myself a lovely big chicken fillet roll there in between but back to business. So when we get to this screen, we're just going to close out of that for now. Um, and what we're going to do is go back down to the bottom left. We're going to go run again. Back up here. Again, we've got percent app data percent. Press OK. And you'll see this new .minecraft folder here. So we're just going to open up that. Right, when we're in here, guys, we're going to go open the bin. So we went into just the .minecraft. And now we're going to open bin. And you'll see a Minecraft file down here, an executable jar file. So what we're going to need, and if this is the part that if you don't have WinRAR installed on your computer, you're going to have to click the second link in the description there to go and download that first. But I'm sure a lot of you will have that by now if you're already using modded Minecraft, stuff like that. So we're going to right click, and we're going to, um, let me see now, open with, and WinRAR. So that's it there. We'll minus that for now. So here is this. So you see this big meta inf right here. This part we're going to delete. So just hit that delete button there with that. And we'll get rid of that. 
So the first step, what we're going to be doing is installing the Minecraft Forge. So we'll leave this open here. And what we'll do is we'll open up Forge here as well. So here we go. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into this box. We're going to press CTRL A just to highlight and select everything there. And we're going to drag it all in. So this should extract it there and put it straight into this. So we'll let that do its job. Right guys, so when that's finished doing its job, you will get to this minecraft.jar again and you'll see that there is brand new meta inf, there's a load of new folders and files added. Um, but this one we can leave, that's fine. So just close that again. All we'll do is we'll close this. And again, we're going we're gonna to open up this Minecraft shortcut. So this will allow Forge to do its job and run the first time. As you can see here, Forge Mod Loader setting up your Minecraft environment. We gotta let it do this the first time to create our mods folder, stuff like that. And then we will put our Pixelmon on in. So let's let that do its job. Right guys, once that's fully opened up there, you'll see there's a few more details on the homepage. So you'll see like mods loaded, Minecraft Forge, Forge Mod Loader, that sort of stuff here. There'll be a mods folder here if you wanna check out what you've got installed. But that's all fine and dandy for now. We can close out of that. And again, for the last time we're going to go to the run, percent, app data percent, and press OK, and open up just the dot .minecraft for now. So once we have this here, we're going to go to the Pixelmon that we installed earlier, we're going to open up that, and in this you'll see two folders, database and mods. So if we highlight all of them with CTRL-A again, what we do is we just drag it into the dot .minecraft folder. We don't need to go into any fancy stuff, just literally bring it in here try get this white area here because that way it won't go into a specific folder and this will come up if you've run forge model loader first this should come up so it'll just say do you want to merge it and we'll say yes because there's nothing else in that other one we had so yeah so here we have database and mods so guys that should be it so let's go check if it worked out for us right so it's so far so good we come to this home page we'll see four mods loaded if we go into the mods, we see Pixelmon on there. So, so far so good, and let's see how we get on. So let's just create a new world. And we'll load it up and see where we land. Hopefully there'll be no problems. Let's see now. Okay, so Pixelmon's ready here. Let's pick Bulbasaur just because we didn't last time. And here we have it guys, this is your Pixelmon world. So you can have a look around. See if we can see any Pokemon. There's an Arbok over there. There's the apricot trees. We've got little Nidorans, Nidorinos, Feroes, everything. Snorlax. How's it going, Snorlax? So, guys, there we have it. That is your installation video for Pixelmon. So, if the video helped you out at all, um, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Guys, as you know, we're not kind of like technical gurus. We don't really know too much about it. We're just doing this to kind of help you subscribers out so hopefully it helped out if you're on like Mac and Linux and all I'm not sure if there's any difference you can try this if not just your best bet is to go to the Pixmon um, website where they are very helpful and they can assist you in any sort of information like that also guys I'm just on a quick note there um, we will leave our Minecraft world save in the description as well so if you want to play on our Pixmon world if you haven't followed along already we do a Pixmon series and if you want to play in the same world as we have because we've built it up a little bit now and um, you can download that in the description there below as well so hope you guys have fun and enjoy your Pixmon adventures